as UN calls for immediate arrest of Gumi, the informant to the Bokus. I said it. Because when you listen to this guy's talk, you will know that this guy is somehow connected. Is somehow connected to the, to these people. Look at him. several times he has compared these people with the iPods. He said that uh, the Bokos, the Bokos are not uh, that that they are not murderers. That they are just militants fighting for their rights. Imagine, they are just militants fighting for their right, just like the Niger Deltans. Eh? People who are kidnapping people for ransom. In the process, get them killed. You said that they, 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 they are better, they are better off. He still went on to be demanding for amnesty. For these people, I'm telling you, this is a very serious matter. Very serious matter. And I know that the the UN, uh, uh, the IPO, are the ones that took this very matter to the UN, and it's a very move. It's, it's a very good move. Since Mr. President have refused to do. Anything concerning that, it's a very good thing that uh, the UN take a positive move. At least with this, truth will begin to fish out itself without anyone, uh, without anyone doing it for them. Okay, let's quickly um, check the contents. This is morning news. The Nigerian government has declared both the Bokos and IPOP Boko groups because of the kind of activities they have carried out in the country. They both carried out attacks on public and private infrastructures in the country. According to the United Nations, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi it's the informant to the Bokus. According to the UN, they said that many a times dangerous statements and observations have been noted from the cleric. The IPOP are agitators. They are not involvers of the Bokus. The UN Secretary, who is already Nigerian, has ordered for the immediate arrest of Sheikh Kumi, tagging him as informant to the Bokos and a disguised cleric. They have warned all Nigerians to desist from him, giving Puari order and also calling AGF Malami to order to beef up security in the country and also to call for the immediate arrest of the cleric and give him a thorough interrogation. UN has given order that henceforth nothing of this kind should be tolerated. Anyone with such a dangerous statement should be suspected because Nigeria is a very large country with disgust. Um, my dear people, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi once said that Buhari should grant amnesty to the bandits. Yes, the UN, we are aware, and 
some other dangerous um, moves that he, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, have already taken. If you remember, it was Sheikh Ahmad Gumi that took 800 million to the bandits who uh, released those um, 200 um, students that were kidnapped. The Kankara, uh, Kankara um, secondary school students that were kidnapped. Do you understand? And um, when, after two weeks of uh, of um, giving them this ransom, the same people still went on to kidnap another <laughs> set of people. And when she Sheikh Ahmad Gumi was consulted, he said they were not the one that they are another set of the vocals. That uh, uh, was the crime if these people are given another ransom. You see what I'm talking about? This guy is their informant. This guy is working for them. Don't forget Melafia. Melafia said it. The late Melafia, the former uh, deputy governor of CBN, Melafia. He said it that the sponsor and the leader of these vocals uh, uh, is, a, is, uh, is a northern uh, leader. Hmm. This is serious. And we have refused to carry out a proper investigation to understand what this, that this, uh, uh, this that Melavia is telling us. It's a problem. It's a problem. That's the own cup of tea, anyway. Um, my dear people, let's call this fair spirit and lay the truth where it's supposed to be. Okay? Um, let's hear you. Let's know what you think and your opinion on this very broadcast meeting. Don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.